Right now at 6, another vote was held in favor of recreational marijuana, and the vote was a close one, 21 to 19. But the question remains, if pot is legalized, what happens with anyone's criminal record? Anyone who served time for this, perhaps? Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is live right now. She's in Hartford, where the vote came down late this afternoon. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. Lawmakers debated for about two hours today before they finally voted. There were a lot of concerns raised during the process today. As you know, Connecticut is under a lot of pressure now that Massachusetts has passed legalized marijuana. But the question remains with the criminal process. How do you treat people who have convictions? California and Colorado are still trying to sort all that out. The recreational marijuana bill before the Judiciary Committee got the 21 votes it needed to pass, but not before a vigorous debate. It's already in our communities. It's in every single level of our community. It's with affluent people. It's with people who are impoverished. We have to be real about where we're living today. I cannot vote on something not knowing what it's going to look like, its end product. Monday's vote follows another vote last month by the General Law Committee to legalize recreational marijuana. The bills do not allow people to grow their own and would require buyers to be 21 years of age. We've heard from a number of, uh, a lot of people, the majority of people in our state um, and a number of people on the committee who are very supportive of, of this change. Pretty much all Republicans raise concerns about public safety, addiction, and the impact on youth. If marijuana is legalized, a complicated issue is how to handle criminal cases, those who have convictions. Democrats favor automatic pardons for those people who have been arrested for one and a half ounces or less. In California, we are told the pardon process can take up to five years. Attorney Kevin Ferry says it's not that simple to expunge someone's record. I don't know what the automatic process that they're talking about is saying, unless they're just going to wave the magic wand and say, okay, anybody that has this. But then the record keeping morass of having to go back and actually look at the files, because obviously the records aren't always great. So again, this is the second hurdle for legalized marijuana in the state of Connecticut. The Finance Committee still needs to vote on this later this month. They'll look at regulating and taxing it. But clearly, this is one step closer to legalized marijuana in Connecticut. Live in Hartford, Susan Ralph, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.